It's a new year, but this dispute from the previous one continues. RMT union boss Mick Lynch joined the picket line as 80% of trains were cancelled. This, the latest strike in the long-running row over pay and conditions. And today, Mr Lynch accused the government of blocking a deal. There are ways to settle it very quickly, and the government's got to be the facilitator and the key stakeholder in all of those disputes to, in order to resolve them. How impactful has today been? I mean, have people got used to working from home now? It doesn't feel as busy, does it, today? Well, it's not as busy. London is quieter today than it would normally be at the start of the year. That's unfortunate. People do get used to it. I understand so that. It's a good day to go on strike because it's not really having the visible impact, is it? I mean... Well, the visible impact is how quiet it is. There's only 20% of the services running. There'll be less than that later in the week. We don't want that. At Birmingham New Street Station, the first working day of the year will usually have looked more packed than this. I missed like four days of work last month and, you know, work are like on to me about it. And I'm like, well, what can I do about it? The tra trains aren't running. I'm not going to spend two hours on a bus to go to work. Like I work in bars, so we have sort of a knock-on effect. Obviously, it's not good for our trade, but again, I sort of sympathise with them, so yeah. There's nobody about, nobody's coming into work by the looks of it. A part of me thinks people need to just put up and shut up and just get on with things because there's enough problems and enough issues going on. Last month, the RMT rejected Network Rail's offer of a backdated 5% pay rise for last year with a 4% pay rise this year. But today, their chief negotiator reckoned the strikes could soon be over. Are we really close to getting a deal? Well, I, I, I really hope so. Um, we made a lot of progress in December. Uh, we there with two out of the three trade unions. Um, I know that a lot of our staff uh, voted yes for the deal, even though the RMT said they shouldn't. That's, you know, that's quite significant. Um, and we know we need about 2,000 people that voted no to switch their votes to yes. Of course, it's not just passengers who've been impacted today. Sam has closed his West London restaurant for this week, as he says the dispute is denting trade. December, because of the strikes, uh, was, was, was a very flat December and wasn't the trade that we all needed. Uh, so it's a bit of a double whammy uh, to have lost that money in December and then to be starting January like this. So far, 2023 looks a lot like what came before. The RMT is warning these scenes could stretch into the summer if train bosses and the government refuse to sign off on what they say is a reasonable offer. Julian Drucker, Five News.